Okay, so the first tool we're going to learn how to use in photo restoration is known as the clone stamp tool. And the clone stamp tool looks like a regular rubber stamp uh, and that's in your toolbox. And you can see it's called the clone stamp. This is my favorite tool in all of Photoshop. And you can see it looks like a regular brush, paintbrush, and along with that it comes with a lot of the same uh, brush options and our tool options at the top that a regular paintbrush would have, including being able to change the size and the uh, hardness and softness of the brush edge. So I'm going to keep it at a pretty good size and have a rel relatively hard edge. Additionally, make sure that your color mode is set to normal and your opacity is set at 100%. Additionally, let's make sure that a line sample is not checked. So if it's checked on yours, we're going to uncheck that. What the clone stamp allows us to do is to copy areas of uh, pixels on one part of a photograph and to paint them to another. So it's kind of like a copy and paste tool, but uh, also mixed in with a brush tool. Let me show you how it will work. Uh, to select an area of pixels, so like I'm going to select uh, the lady's eyeball. We're going to hold down our option key and it's going to uh, watch our cursor change from a regular circle to almost like a gun sight circle. And I'm going to click right on the area of her, her eyeball. So I'm going to click once with my option key held down. Now when I move my cursor you can see the eyeball tends to change uh, and move with us. So if I wanted to start painting in this area, so if I click once and just start painting over it, you can see very quickly it'll copy all of the pixels that are in that area as I move around. And as long as I have my mouse held down, it quickly paints her face into the, another area of the photograph. I can get her hat and start getting parts of her dress and you can see it'll paint over whatever is below there. Also, if you'll notice on my original, there's a little crosshair that's following as I continue to paint around. And that will allow you to know where uh, you're copying your pixels from as you move uh, your cursor around. So do pay attention to not only what you're painting, but where you're painting from. So you pick up just the pixels that you want to. <clears throat> okay, and you can see that's one quick way of, um, of making a copy of something using the clone stamp. Again, if I start and click again, I can make another copy of her right on top of there. It's a real quick way of making a simple copy of things. Now if I didn't have my aligned sample, uh, or if I did have it checked off, uh, whenever I started to paint again, it would uh, continue to paint where I left off from. So in other words, it wouldn't start painting another person, it would just continue painting where I stopped. So if um, do be careful if you have your aligned sample checked or not checked, because that's very important to know when you make your, uh, your selection. I'm going to go over to my history palette and just back up to where I adjusted my levels. So you're saying, why is that important to photo restoration? Using the clone stamp is a way of quickly getting rid of uh, some of these spots that are um, throughout the, uh, the edges of our photograph. The reason why we want to use the clone stamp is because our, our background, the photo texture, isn't just a solid mass. It has a, a texture, a speckled texture that we want to keep. So what we want to do is to be able to clone that speckled texture as we uh, quickly blot out some of these spots. Let me show you how to do it. So I'm going to hold down my option key and I'm going to click on an area that's unblemished. And this is a pretty good area. I'm going to click once. I can let up on my option key. Now I can go on top of some of these spots and in just a few clicks, click, 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 <clears throat> you can see I've added that texture right on top of them. And I've eliminated a lot of those spots. Very, very simple, very powerful tool to use. And so using the clone stamp tool, and then maybe you have to adjust some of the, uh, the size of the tool and some of the hardness, you can very quickly get rid of a lot of the um, unwanted blemishes found throughout your photograph. Additionally, over here, 
if I click, in just a few clicks, you can see I can get rid of some of these, um, these spots. However, you see I have another problem. The area of uh, paper in this area is a lot lighter than the paper that's on this area. So when I start to click and add a texture, it's uh, almost, it's very evident that I'm covering it up. So when you work in the clone stamp tool, it's very important that you constantly resample different areas of the paper so it'll look more authentic, more real. So I want to uh, copy an area that's a lot closer to what I want to cover up. So this is an unblemished area, so I'm going to hold down my option key. I'm going to click once. I'm going to go over this area. And again, that'll blend in a lot better than what we had before. <coughs> Maybe I'm going to copy some area up here to cover up this. And area right here. And very quickly I can paint in and paint over a lot of these spots that are on there. Already you see that our photograph is turning out quite nicely. As we use the uh, constantly um, resample areas of the photograph and paint over it using the clone stamp tool. Paint and repaint. And in just a few clicks, you can see we've gotten rid of a lot of these dark spots in the upper area up here. And so that's the clone stamp tool. Also, don't forget about your history palette, that if you need to back up and maybe you've cloned over something that's, um, uh, that you didn't want to, use your history palette and back up. I'm going to use my zoom tool real quick. I'm going to zoom in to the spot that's right on her face. Now I'm going to select my clone tool and move over. You can see it's very big, so I'm going to adjust the brush size first. Let's make it even smaller than that. Let's make it about 8 pixels. I'm going to select an area of her face that's really close to the spot. And then just one click, maybe a couple of clicks, completely taken out that spot. Again, the spot right here is gone. And the spot right on the side of her nose. And so that's how, using the clone stamp tool, you can get rid of a lot of unnecessary and unwanted blemishes from your photographs.